Hi, this is Jackie from the Builder All Team. In this tutorial, we're going to work with basic elements in Cheetah WordPress. So right here, I've got my homepage open. I'm going to click on the plus sign at the top. And we are going to look at the basic elements, which is this column right here. Now, like I said in previous videos, all of these has basically got the same type of thing. So if I click on this, most of them will have a general, a style, and an advanced area. If it hasn't got general, it will say content. For an example, text is classified as content. But we're going to go through them one by one. So I'm going to click on plus. I'm going to click on title. And I'm just going to drag and drop it into that specific row. And you're going to see it's opened it up right here. So there is your title. So this is the place for your text, where you add your text. You can change your tag to say if this is an H1, an H2, or an H3, which is very important for search engine optimization. And then you can also link it to something specific if you want to. And then if people click on it, do you want them to open in a new win window? And do you want it to be followed by the search engines? So that is basically the basic content area. When we click on style, you can change the color. You can change the font. If I click on that, you'll see that it's the font family, the white weight, the size, the line height, where you want it to be aligned, as well as some spacing that you can work with right there. And then you can also apply some shadow to it if that is what you want. Then we click on advance. In the advance area is where you look at the margins as well as the visibility of it. Now, this is a very cool feature right here is the breakpoint. And that is if you would like it to be shown on different kinds of devices. So here you can choose that. You can also play, shoot, choose uh, the display area right there. If you want it to be animated, and this is the area where we we'll choose that. If you click on it, you'll see there's different kinds of animations that you can add. And then you can also have the HTML element. So if you've got a little bit of programming skills, you would be able to add all of those details right there. And then you can also export this element or import others. And this is what you're going to do in that area right there. So I'm just going to click on cancel because we're not going to make use of it. And let's take another one because like I said, they all have basically the same. Title and text is going to have the same. So let's just click on button and we add the button. Oh, sorry, let me just grab it and into a, a row. And now you can see the button has been added. And we're going to go to content. Again, you're going to give it a title and a subtitle. So if I just type in here by now, it will change it. Let me just go back again. And you can give it a subtitle if you want to. I just want to do that. Oh, oh goodness. Let me just know. <laughs> And then you can add an icon to it as well. There's quite a lot of icons that you can choose from. You can see there's quite a lot of them. You're going to keep scrolling forever. So there's an icon that you can add. And you can link it to a pop-up if you've created a pop-up. And you add the link of the pop-up as well as a new window or force the download or no follow. Force download is a very interesting one as well. So that all of this is for a link. If you click on pop-up, this is where you're going to choose the pop-ups that you've created. Under style is basically the color, the font, the size, the padding, the color of the background, the border, and the title. Basically, just the way that you would do it in a normal digital builder, this is what you're going to find right here. Under the advanced section is where we talk about the margins and the spacing. You can change it by just clicking on this icon here. And you would be able to set it up so you don't have to go in there at the top like we normally do with uh, the Cheetah Builder. So you can change it by just clicking on this icon right here. Then we've got the visibility. You can also begin the breakpoint, which is the interesting one, whether you want it to be shown in certain um, devices. And the animation, if you want to allow animation, if there's any delay and duration as well. HTML and export and import. So again, basically the same type of functions. So let's go and click. And that applies that the spacing is the same type of thing. If I add spacing into this area, you would be able to manage the spacing between the different kinds of rows and the visibility animation. Exactly the same as I said previously. And then we've got the list. So let's drop the list and take a look at what they look like. There is our list. So again, we have got the items. 
that you can edit by clicking on the item right here. You would be able to edit the icon, uh, the, uh, the list, give it a link if you want to add a specific link to it and open it in a new window and add an icon in the front, which is this blue little icon here. It's quite nice. It looks really good. And then we're going to scroll down at the moment. The default icon is that you can change the default there. Style again is basically the color, the text, the font, and if you want any dividers into it, and then the advanced area. If we're going to click on plus assign, we've got HTML and iframe. So when you've got coding experience and you want to like add some HTML coding, you can do that by just dropping it in. And there is the place for the embedded code. And you also have the advanced function again for visibility, animation, export, and import. And the same applies to the iframe as well. If you've got anything that is inside of Builder All that is with an iframe, you would also be able to make use of that. So if you've got a super checkout item that needs to be on this page, you can do that by dropping it into the iframe. It's basically the same type of thing. If I drop it in right there, you can see if I go right there, this is where you're going to drop in the HTML code or the URL or embedded code. So you can choose between the two. It's basically any of those ones. And that is all about the basic elements inside of WordPress Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another.